Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. Josan. Dang it, you got the old one too. I was gonna do the. Oh! <laughs> I was like, she's gonna get the new one. I'll get the old one. <laughs> Dude, I was like, I, I grabbed the first one there and it was Josan because I, I used the, the ha 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 yesterday. Guys. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Should I get it out just because? Oh my god. It's fine. It's fine. You know, I'm just, yeah, I'm just putting it here. Yeah, it's just mm. a little bit. Huh? It's all <laughs> right, everybody. So, um, today's topic, we are going to just... Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Touchy topic. But it's like, you know, we have no comment on, like, anything. Because we're, we're, we already said we're not linguistics, okay? Right. And this is... is purely our perspective obviously it's not you know whatever because any yeah go, 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 go. sorry it, i was gonna say it's controversial because of like the situation and we understand that like all the situation in hong kong and the political issues right um and that's why it's like controversial but this is it's you know i had no idea about that even but it's like we grew up in macau and we went to macau local schools and then and we had to like write Chinese words, not simplified Chinese words, traditional Chinese words. So it's like mm -hmm. even more intense of Chinese words, literal traditional Chinese words. It's in the name, traditional Chinese words. Fan tai zi. Okay, we learned that Fan from tai zi, yeah. kindergarten or? Yeah, uh, I think so. Cause like since kindergarten, we start copying like uh, you know these Our Chinese practice words. practice books, yeah, like it's square, words, not so, lines. Yeah. They've been square for like the longest time I've known. You know, like until what's square? The the notebooks, you know, like the no exercise books is squares. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, notebooks. you're right. Because you know, in English, you're our right, words so have to be within the four walls. You know, yes, and mine's always chut guy, like oh, chut guy, you know, so <laughs> yeah, always, and um. So yeah, and it's like, funny because as you get older, the squares get smaller. Oh my god, that's so true! Oh my god, that's so true! <laughs> and then when you graduate, the squares disappear. It's so light. <laughs> now you have to write in the straight line and like perfect, you know, the invisible yeah. square. Yes. Oh my god. And and we even did sufa, like freaking uh, mo but you know, like uh the proper way of holding it, like you gotta lift your wrist, like yeah, and they always say <sighs> like don't don't go back and like you know like correct your, oh. your they they would know they would know and I'm like oh shit I, nah. I messed up you know and I fixed it yeah like, and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> like you gotta get it right before the first stroke right, right? like yeah. you you cannot refill the ink in the middle of the word yes my calligraphy is so bad it's so ugly oh my god I try so hard all the time too and then and then that also the squares become smaller. Like, and then you use the, yeah. the tinier, the, the tinier one. Dude, the some, tinier, people, some um, people's words would be so nice. It's pretty. Tinier brush. And like, the, yeah, yeah, that's true. It's like some people do it really nicely. And there's even competitions for like how how nicely you write it. I mean, I guess it's kind of like calligraphy in English. Like, you know, recently how there's like trends in calligraphy art. Yeah. But yeah. So our point of all this, guys, is we yes, learned yes. all this in... Chinese class, Zhong Man Tong. It's called Zhong Man Tong in our school because it's a general like thing, Chinese, like Chinese words, Chinese books, and um, Cantonese speaking. Yeah, and it's like, and it's like, it, you know, in Macau, we say, oh, you do go to Chinese school. Yeah, we go to Chinese school, like, lo and that means like local school. And there's in no Macau like, specifically, we'd say Luso because it's like Chinese Portuguese school, right? <laughs> oh, that's true. Jungpo, <laughs> Jungpo, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. and it's just like you know, because it's it's there was no like specific. There was never a specification of like this is Cantonese class. They always mm. say Chinese class. Zhongmeng Tong, not Guangdong Hua Tong. No, no, no. Nobody well, says one, that in Macau. One, like one class. Because we'll have Chinese class every day. And one Chinese class per week, I think, would be Mandarin. No? We would yeah, so that would, that would be the, mm -hmm, the different language course, right? That, that would be us learning the, the language of China, because that's what most people speak, right? Mandarin. Yeah. But then the Zhongman Tong is 
all in Cantonese. Mm-hmm. In our classes, we already know how to speak Mandarin because of family. You know, like usually they're already like good at it. And we're just like so slow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, this was all like like 20 years ago, right? Like when we were in Macau, yeah. when there was no issue with like the whole like political stuff, right? Nobody cared about if you called it Cantonese or Chinese, mm-hmm. but um, and I don't us, know. We're Essentially... outcasts. We've always been outcasts too. Like we've been like ngoi, ngoi ko yun, since, you know, ever. You know what I mean? So it's just like uh, of all the political issues, we have no say, you know? We're just like thankful to be there, thankful to be speaking whatever language we're speaking. You know, like I feel like more language, the better. Enough. Yeah. You know? Anyways, yeah. recently I taught the planets in Cantonese, but I said Chinese because you write, you know, you, the Chinese words that you write is the same as Mandarin, you know, when you, when the planets. That's why I said Chinese, you know, because the Chinese characters are easier mm-hmm. to remember than English words. But anyways, I get a lot. I got a lot of comments saying, you know, Canton- that's Cantonese. That's not Chinese. And I was like, what? Like, that's news to me because we we generalize Chinese, like Chinese class, you know, and we speak Cantonese in the class. And they're the same words. <laughs> yeah, they're the same words. Yes. Okay. We're just reading the comments from this uh, video. But yeah, just the reason why I said Chinese on the reel is because in Chinese letters and in Cantonese and Mandarin, when you learn planets, it's the same. And that's why I said Chinese, as in Chinese words. So, but uh, a lot of people did not like what I said, and they made a lot of comments about it. So let's see what these people have to say. This person, um, well, first off, a fan said, I've been wanting to learn how to say the planet names in Chinese, and then, boop, you delivered. And I'm like, you delivered. I said, so happy to have read your mind. And then um, this other person was like, this is Cantonese, not Chinese, lol. And then and then the per- other person was like, you know, like, fan ba'an. Um, fan ba'an. I roll. And then another person um, chimed in. Let's call this Wallace. Uh, Wallace said, no, this is Chinese. You must be talking about Mandarin. And then... And then the person was like, no, Chinese and Mandarin are the same. I'm Chinese. Lol. <laughs> and then the uh-huh. other person is like, Cantonese is also Chinese. Don't gaslight. <laughs> and then another person, the, the, the same person was like, Cantonese is a dialect of Chinese. My mom is Cantonese. My, I, I guess mom, my mom is Cantonese. My dad is Hainanese. Hainanese and Cantonese are dialects of Chinese, which means you can ah oh. uh, you didn't click more <laughs> I, didn't, i didn't click more on that one. Oh my god which means <laughs> something 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 anyways and then this other person is just trying to say cantonese is a chinese language mandarin is a chinese language china is full of chinese languages and then mm. the other person is like lol white boy angry at asians using of the words fong yin fong yin why you see why you mut yao so why mandarin what chinese si le mun ying man ji ge gao ba cheng okay so i guess like si le mun ying le de ying man gao mun cheng yeah maybe this person is just uh, yeah and then if you like read further down though it gets really political so i feel like i don't want to read this does it talk about like the history of china and like how many 19 years ago <laughs> And then, um, yeah, the other person's like, girl, I'm literally Cantonese. Don't be uneducated and get an education. Okay. I'm literally half Cantonese. And where does that take us? <laughs> I don't understand that. You know, like, I feel like us too, like, we're like, uh, we are half Filipino, half, you know, and stuff. But we can never say anything about, you know, like the Galo because we, we're not Filipino. That's true. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You never, we're never this side or that side. We're mixed. We're both. Yeah. It's like, all right, cool. Uh, I don't, I can't, um, I don't know if it's right or wrong. But yeah, like, I, I replied saying, like, 
I'm just trying to say it's chi- like the Chinese words, okay? Mm-hmm. Like, like and stuff. And then she just became like, re- like I I typed it in Chinese and and Fan Tai, right? And so I was like, hey, if you want me to type it and simplify, let me know. Like, you know, I know that too. Just because you could just convert it on Google. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, she was like all like, um, I'm just simply stating fact. I don't get why the replies to me have to attack me or be so negative, including yours. I'm like, dude, I don't even like, like, I wasn't even being like negative, bro. But anyways, this person is deeply like ticked off by it. So TikTok what? Tick, ticked off. They'll cover their names, right? Scratch, yeah. They don't deserve the, yeah. the. Exactly. <laughs> All right, now this one is on TikTok. Okay, this person just commented. It's not Chinese, it's Cantonese. And I'm like, I made a reply video saying, to anyone confused about when I said Chinese instead of Cantonese, PS was trying to say planets are easier in Canto or Mando versus English. Yeah, right, it's it's versus English. It's the whole that language versus English because... I feel like anyone could agree that in- Cantonese is a lot more similar to Mandarin than English because it's it's that versus English, right? Because that our channel is bilingual. Yes, so exactly. It's... And then um, yeah, someone even said like it oh same as Japanese and um another one like like it's like uh, the elements of like the planets. I'm like that's what I'm trying to say. It's like mm-hmm. the the writing mm-hmm. is easier to remember than you know so i was just trying to like find something that we all relate to but then it gets crazy becomes a political war and then this person goes just a different accent okay that's hilarious though (laughs) someone else says cantonese is a chinese language and then someone get goes uh the first person goes they share similarity similar (laughs) similarities they share similarities but are not mutually intelligible like you can't understand each other. Is that what it means? Interesting. And, yeah, intelligible. I think so. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you can't understand each other. Cause it's kind of like um, Portuguese and Italian, or P- Portuguese and Spanish. Mm-hmm. They most likely, most of the time, they don't understand each other, right? I, I feel like that's so. a good comparison. Yeah. And then someone goes, "You are thinking Mandarin." The other person is like. Bestie, you mean Mandarin, but Mandarin and Cantonese are both Chinese languages. So are Hokkien and Tochu, etc. And then another West-minded person tell us what is what not. Nice job. Is he talking about you? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Miss Monster, Miss Hungry Monster. Oh, okay. Replying to that comment. Yeah. I mean, was replying to the first comment. Um, and then she's like, so English and Vietnamese are the same language? And then someone else goes, exactly. Hence, English is just a dialect of French because they use the same writing system. Oh, that's interesting. Is English a dialect of French? <laughs> then you are... Uh, Je, I'm uh, speaking uh, English. Uh. <laughs> then you are using the linguistic definition. However, the cultural classification is Cantonese is Chinese, specifically a dialect of Chinese. Someone said that. Oh, but yeah, I guess like just reading like replies like this is not that fun. Maybe like the ridiculous ones will like point out. That's true because this most of them gets very like, yeah. It's just repetitive. Um can you first ask can you first ask the Cantonese if they think they are Chinese? Lay seen your ningman fat. It's so Mandarin. It's so like Loi Te Loi Te um language. Yeah, and I don't know how to read that. You're right. Yeah, they're not interchangeable. I'm, I'm, that's what I was saying, the writing. Anyways, <laughs> Cantonese is Chinese. Get over yourself, this person says. And then they always love using this as an excuse like right. i am that like of ethnicity like i uh, know there's that's so confident because i can never be that confident like even though yeah i, I can never say like i'm filipina like filipinos do this 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 
even us like we 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 learn Cantonese and Chinese words all our lives and and you know we're still not confident on you know like what is what anymore because it's just like we don't want we, we also don't want to be disrespectful <sighs> anyways the creator was right for saying Cantonese is Chinese the same thing applies to Mandarin Tocho Haka Hokkien China this person said and then another person Peter we'll say his name your pedant your pedantry is irrelevant here she's not wrong regardless of dialect it's still chinese so move along oh that rhymed she's not wrong so move along oh, <laughs> so move along <laughs> oh my god hi uh, cantonese is one of the chinese languages guess who speaks cantonese chinese <laughs> oh my god <laughs> is that supposed to be a joke <laughs> The person you replied to didn't even say Cantonese is the same as Mandarin. Fighting invisible comments. <laughs> so someone says, are you really Chinese? How do you think Cantonese does not belong to Chinese? How? <laughs> it's a Cantonese. The pronunciation is different, but words are written the same. I don't know Cantonese, the pinyin thing, but Chinese is xing di xing di sheng. I think she just pronounced it wrong, but it's fine. You sound great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Zen. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. Someone's like, not just Chinese, in Korean and Japanese, also they use the same concept. See, oh, one that's person. That's so true. Mm -hmm. One person understands the assignment. I was like trying to say, right, that the words are easier to remember than in. Yeah. Like what's what's Mars again in Cantonese? Oh, sing, oh, just sing, fire, star, like. Yeah, but Mars, Mars, like Mars, the word Mars doesn't mean anything. I mean, Marble. okay, now we know, right? <laughs> now we know Mars is the name of a planet, but like it's not. M A R S doesn't like it's just random letters put together to call Mars. But for sing, it's actually like it's like thoughtful, you know? Yeah, it's for thoughtful. Sing. Oh, your star. <laughs> no matter how you pronounce it, Mandarin or Cantonese. Okay. Yeah. Moksing. Right. What's Moksing? Uh, is Jupiter? Is it Jupiter? <laughs> yeah. So it's like even Jupiter. Jupiter. Jupiter could be like a fox's name. I follow on Instagram. It's like a fox's name. But it's like why? Why does J U P I T R represent? the jupiter star it's you probably know? the name of the person that found it who right? found it i think yeah, yeah. you're right like like you're right a, like a... <laughs> are you sure you want to name it after you mr uranus <laughs> <laughs> that's true yeah that makes a lot of sense but like for for i was gonna say chinese sorry cantonese slash chinese um it's it's just it makes sense yes. wood star fire star it looks like a piece of wood it looks like fire yeah someone i remember there was a comment saying like um because i said mercury you know so you saying is water star. yeah and you're like oh yeah mercury has water sure and i'm just like you dude mercury hello it's liquid i can't find what? this person just like what do you mean <laughs> yeah so Someone, oh my god okay this person wouldn't it no, wouldn't it more appropriate for you say cantonese instead of chinese wait what <laughs> I'm my brain hurts <laughs> i'm reading wouldn't a word it more appropriate for you say <laughs> cantonese <laughs> wouldn't whoop wouldn't it more appropriate for you say cantonese instead of chinese while the la trer refers to mandarin hmm. I said, I replied, planets in Cantonese and Mandarin are the same in written Chinese. Therefore, Chinese isn't wrong. I said it's easier to learn versus English because it's short. I feel like a, 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 a broken radio just a reply, like repeating that, like a disclaimer, disclaimer. <laughs> you just copy paste. <laughs> yeah, right. Sounds like Cantonese instead of Mandarin. And I said, never said Mandarin. This person was and just give a yum yum. 
like <laughs> 新人樣嘅 ，is that what it's called？ 啊，新人，我好耐冇聽呢個字。<笑> yeah， 新人 ，freaking guy classmates always say that shit。你冇新人啦，你。I'm like dude， <笑> so weird. Just because you're like， ah， like you know， like， ah， ah， like like a little expression， yeah， yeah, yeah.。唉<笑>。Then this person knows that the assignment when nice Cantonese lesson happy that I know that. With my crappy Mandarin, I recognize those characters. No two versions now. Yeah. See. Good job, lady. Good job. I love that. You know, connecting people like that, dude. Like that's why I make these fucking videos. Someone and this person, Cantonese star. Cantonese is Chinese. Chinese isn't an exclusive term for Mandarin. Huh? Canto Chinese is Canto, Mando is Mando. Chinese, however, is a nationality. My guy, this person says, and then it's like Chinese can be a nationality, ethnicity, or a language. Specific, you know, uh, this guy saying Chinese, however, is a nationality. Like, first off, Filipino, right? Speaking Filipino, mm. actually, um, I think there was next shark that that like. Posted something like speak、uh, speaking Filipino instead of Tagalog, and then they got okay, like okay. a lot of comments about yeah. Like, oh, it's Tagalog, not Filipino. Like really,、uh-huh. like you, like you really, like you're gonna make that mistake. But then it's actually it's right, like because Filipino like kind of involves English as well, because there's a lot of words that in like we speak in Tagalog is actually in English, like it's just an English word, and so that's why like Filipino that they replied to that like. To the hit, the comments saying like actually it's because it's involves also English and that's why and all the other dialects yeah so they're not trying to say、mm. like it, it is a language Filipino is a language that's what they're trying to say and because it involves like other like words in English too anyways but because、uh, there's also Tagalog there's also like Visaya yeah、right? exactly you can't if you say Tagalog then you neglect the other part of Exactly. That's why. Exactly. And then, but this person saying Chinese, however, is a nationality. Like, um, like it, it, it's like there's type of Chinese words, you know, Chinese letters. What do you say? What do you call those? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So just FYI, guys, because in Tagalog we write English words namane, you know.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> so、mm-hmm. like I can't like debate on that with with Tagalog and Filipino, but. This like Chinese words in my name, so I see. And then, so.、Uh, By the way, it's not Chinese, but Cantonese. Then this other person, lol. What's with the comments saying Canto is not Chinese? It's literally a Chinese language. Then this other person replied, ninety percent of Chinese people don't understand Cantonese. Most that's Chinese probably、Mandarin. true too, actually. So usually Chinese equals Mandarin, Canto equals Cantonese. Someone goes, and then the other person replied, "It's still Chinese, though." Then the other, and then the second person replies, "Yes, but due to how it works, it would be more understandable to say Cantonese instead because Chinese usually refers to Mandarin." Then I mean, remember when we came to when we first came to America, we were worried that. Cantonese would be so useless because we were like, oh yeah, the rest of the world, Chinese means Mandarin. So if you learn Chinese, you're learning Mandarin. So in a sense, what he's saying is kind of true. Like in Macau, we don't even think you know. You have to know Mandarin. Yeah, to to, to work in the hotel. Right, because like they have a lot more people, and like we didn't think that we would ever use Cantonese here in America,、That's、or、true. even like. Yeah, I meet so many people who are interested in Cantonese. I always thought like, yeah, it would just be like Mandarin all, all my life. Like after、yeah. I moved out of Macau, yeah, where else would they speak Cantonese? But we thought all、Macau. the stuff that we learned would be useless. Yeah, but no, because there are a bunch in Canada, a bunch in the U.S., a bunch everywhere in the world, just scattered,、yeah. scattered, scattered. Cantonese is a Chinese language. She said Chinese. She didn't say Mandarin. So nothing wrong with her understanding. Thank you. Someone goes. Thank. Technically, that's Chinese. Cantonese is a Chinese dialect or language. He's not wrong. Uh, 
And then, what's wrong with the Chinese people in the comment? Gondongwa and Totongwa both are Chinese languages with the same written system but different pronunciation. Well, one is Gantai and one is Bantai. Yeah, but honestly, mm, that's half true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We learned both. Let's see, there's more people going. It's funny to- because, like in high school, the we grew up with the books with Fantai uh, Zi, right? Traditional Chinese. But as we grow older and the math got harder, the the books would be simplified Chinese because the math was like harder. Oh, like so, they didn't have yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're preparing you for like chi- like um, mainland China's uh, entry exams, and it's harder. Oh really? Yes. I, like, a lot of my classmates, they all went to like you know uni there because they can get a scholarship. You know, oh, it's cheaper. I see. I see. And, and but the the entry exam is harder, and so they have to like prepare. Yeah. They have to have a separate preparation actually for. Like just math, like that from like schools mm-hmm. in China because it's harder for math. Okay, I'm not saying like yeah. Hong Kong University is like not hard. Like I know I heard Hong Kong pretty hard best, too. <laughs> the best yeah. schools out there, like top, like yeah. I'm just talking about like the math, but yeah, like we would uh study the the gay hall. I remember gay. In, uh, in, in yeah, go gay. It's just so, so different. Yes, but I also think it's so much easier. It's just so little. It's but, true. Well, it is yeah, way, yeah. Sim- way more simplified. Because sometimes, like in in tests, like in written tests or even math, like you have to write stuff in Chinese, right? And you know how there's so many strokes per words, but then it's also like timed for a test. So like if you write simplified, you just go through it faster, and you know you have time to check it too. So yeah, it's true. It's true. It is easier. All right. So funny. So um, this one. Most of these fake Cantonese just don't know same Chinese character can be so different in Chinese speaking. Oh, don't like, know as in, like same... words. Like the Chinese words, you can you can pronounce them in different can- like types of Chinese languages. As in like, I guess that's what she's trying oh, to say. Okay. As in like you can I see, I see, pronounce I see. Like yeah the, those to- uh, it's the same word but, mm-hmm. but pronounced differently yeah she's trying to say that the fake hand because like they don't read it from chinese i guess you're trying to say mm. mm. That's no. that's Cantonese, not Chinese, quote unquote. Chinese doesn't equal Mandarin bestie. They're both Chinese languages. This person is so dramatic. Okay. He goes. I thought I was having a stroke, bro. Cantonese <laughs> Mandarin. Cantonese <laughs> 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 oh, Mandarin a lot the same. Cantonese Mandarin a lot. Not. N A W T. Not. N A W T. Then I went ahead and said about the Chinese characters. And he's like, fair <laughs> enough. I just thought I was going crazy. <laughs> you drive me crazy. crazy. Hey. I just can't sleep. Mm. <laughs> Anyways. Then afterwards he comments, fighting for my life every time <laughs> someone says Chinese and deliver right into Cantonese. <laughs> fighting for my life? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Chill. Roll face. Chill. Chill. Words, guys. <laughs> Chinese words, guys. And then this next person joined in and said, lol, yeah, same. But then I thought, she's not wrong. Shouldn't assume Mandarin, lol. So many people speak Chinese in their own dialects. I mean, yeah, I'm also of, of the dialect speakers. I just used to people using Chinese as a synonym for Mandarin, lol. I see. Well, I mean, yeah, like you said, we thought that it's, you know, we thought we're going to be just hearing Mandarin after leaving Macau. But there is a lot of Cantonese speakers out here. Yeah, because if you speak to like any or a lot of the Western speakers, when they say like, oh, you speak Chinese, they think of Mandarin. They don't even, I sometimes I still have to explain what Cantonese is. Yes. They're like, oh, you speak Chinese? And I said, yeah, I speak Cantonese. They're like, oh, what's that? Oh, that's another dialect. I yeah, would have like, to go like, and I'm living in New Cantonese. York. Yeah, that's true. I would go like, I speak Cantonese, but I can read and write Chinese, you know? Because, mm-hmm. I mean, that's also a very big skill reading, writing, typing, choksing. Huh? Yeah. I, I, you know, oh my like, God. Yeah. 
like reading yeah. and typing Chinese words is a big skill that we we learn. <laughs> and hey, it it makes us also like understand. We can understand stuff in China, you know, like in Mandarin, like kind of. I always thought actually, it's like Mandarin speakers can't really understand Cantonese, but Cantonese speakers can understand Mandarin. Like that's what I thought. Like, If they um, learn. Yeah, like because because we in Macau and Hong Kong we have to learn Mandarin, but people in China they don't have to learn Cantonese since Mandarin is like the main language. Mm, that's why. That's why. And I plus, think. like when they go back, like we uh, have, uh, uh, yeah, 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 Fan uh, Hengha. Yeah, when you go Fan Hengha, they probably talk, speak to them in Mandarin. With the weird thing that we could never get. Oh uh, yeah, you have to change your name. You have to add Chinese name. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. So, so goes, the... but that's still not a Chinese language. I think this person also commented on the first video. <laughs> oh my God. Is there one singular spoken lang- Chinese language? I think this person is actually like asking genuinely. And then this person says, no, no but there are one, <laughs> there are 1000 languages or dialects in the Chinese language. It's the umbrella term that covers all variations that use the Chinese. And you know why I use Chinese, the word? Because I don't want, I didn't want the people to be commenting actually like, um, oh, so it's like that also in Mandarin, like Cantonese is not so special. Like I didn't want that type of comments, but then like it went the other way, you know, it went like, oh, you're saying, <laughs> I didn't know that it could go this way. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I thought, I thought I'm, I was being safe by saying Chinese because it's Chinese words. And I was trying to say like in Even even uh, Japanese, someone said that you know, like that's why I, that's like literally I, I had see. no idea it was gonna like cause a a, a whole debate. This. <laughs> But yeah. Okay, and then this one says, "You mean it's not Mandarin? Cantonese is Chinese dialect. Mandarin is a Chinese dialect. There's also Hokkien, Teochew, and so much more. At least one thing can be proved from your comments. You're so sinophobic." <laughs> I think sinophobic means that you hate Chinese. Yeah, I saw that. Or at least, let me let me let me double check. I wonder if she's saying me or or, or this person. I think no, I, I don't think it's you. Wait, no, yeah, a fear or dislike of China. Mm-hmm. <gasps> I didn't know that word exists. Me too. Sinophobic, interesting. If Cantonese is not Chinese language, you might think people who speak Cantonese is a different Asian country. Come on, dude. In the, in the later, she was like, "You hella sensitive. You hella sensitive. You hella yeah yeah." That's why I put that. I was like, "You hella sensitive." People When you people don't know then... how big Chinese is. Dialects are mostly mostly just a, a, a speak spoken part. She said speaking, speaking part. <laughs> Mostly just because some grammar might change extra words. Like in Canto, Chinese is the family of it's the same characters and words. Mandarin is what's the spoken part. I think I understand what she's trying to say. You know, you do. Like okay. I, just, I think they're trying to say that the Chinese words are Chinese words, and then spoken is like Mandarin and Cantonese. I think okay. Same characters and words. Yeah, and you know, I remember I would always explain to people what the difference between when they say Mandarin or Chinese and then versus Cantonese. I always say like, "Oh, we don't understand each other verbally, but if we write down stuff, we would understand each other." Yeah. That's what I always had to say to explain to Damn, people who ask good, about it. That's a good yeah. explanation. Yeah, because yeah, you're right. Here's one where you, um, someone said Chinese classes are called Chinese class because they cover the Chinese culture. Oh yeah, and then I was just like, dude, no, we learn Chinese culture in. Um, we have Chinese history. history. Oh my god. We call it history class, all right, and we learn mostly China history, and then twenty percent like Greek, right? Um, yeah, or like just Western, Western, anything outside of China, I Western. guess. Western. Yeah, there's like two books. One is China history, and one is world history. Uh, say, say, say. Like, 
yeah, like we and in in Chinese class we learn literature. You know, I I I, I replied telling um we learn literature Chinese literature in Chinese class, not really the the history of them. We would know like the poets, you know, like Wei Ba, mm -hmm. right? and they they people know it as Li Bai. You know, Cantonese is Chinese, but generally won't refer Chinese as Cantonese because it's not precise and can be confusing to people from different cultural backgrounds. Mm. Yeah. To all the idiots still complaining Chinese is a language with countless differences depending on the prefecture you're born and raised in. There was no comma whatsoever. I just... It's a very long... <laughs> Right, that's uh just people us. just have very strong opinion on this, right? Like the different yeah. and we want to hear your opinion, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Or do we? Um and... yeah. or we do we? <laughs> or do we? Uh yeah. Uh so guys, we speak Cantonese, but we can read and write and type Chinese words. Mostly fan tai, like uh traditional Chinese. All right. And I prefer traditional. We we talk, talked about this before. I my personally, I prefer traditional Chinese because you remember the words through the meaning of the characters. You know, because of, mm -hmm. because a lot of it to do with the, you know what it is. Simplified yeah. came after mm -hmm. because it's like it. It's do you think so? It, it, is that it, true? Yes. You don't Damn. know this. I didn't know mean your history is very bad does traditional chinese it's called traditional for a re uh, for a reason is the traditional before way. simplified over the written form did evolve over the centuries but the traditional set used today is much more closely related to the written chinese which has been used in for thousands of years as such the traditional characters are said to provide wait it's from this doesn't answer. The quat, you know, I guess my question is why does why did like why is it just such a small part of China using traditional Cantonese uh, now, traditional because Chinese? They want words? they want foreigners to be more encouraged to learn Chinese. You think that's why they changed the simplified? That's what I've always heard. I, I'm like, really yes, for foreigners. I'm like surprised you don't know. Like for why no. would they change the Chinese they language for wanna, foreigners? That doesn't no, make that, sense. To me. And they want they wanted like to tone yet like like all one. So that, okay, that makes sense to so like, like make and, it all the and same. And I'm pretty sure the simplified like came like it just probably like all of China just like a lot of it just started using it, you know. But before yeah. it was it was um it's called traditional, you know, for a reason. Um because it's the traditional way. <laughs> traditional way you know but um yeah because that's why because the 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 way that well the traditional is english and chinese is called fan taizi complicated words <laughs> gan taizi easy that's words true. um so yeah uh <laughs> we learn it through the traditional way it's true and it makes sense how and like, well, like like that's what i think you know like first you knew, you know the traditional but it's it's also like as well because that's where like the characters you see you see like simplify they remove like a lot of essential parts of the words oh right? yeah some Sometimes. words like, don't even look moi. like moi there's no more some there's no more heart in the word moi yeah, right like in a lot friend. of things mm -hmm. yeah so that like that stuff like that like, it's like if you don't really care about the history of how the words are made then okay you can learn simplified but if you like are interested in how it's made yeah like yeah. how the drawings came about exactly and sometimes like there's words that you can guess what it means like or what it's related to you know like just by seeing the, mm -hmm. the, the elements of the words radical the radicals yeah, the some radicals. of them have radicals too, but it's just simplified, that's all. But yeah, like it's, I mean, why not know both? Both. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, all right, yeah. guys, thank you for watching our very um, <laughs> messy episode. And hopefully, yeah, we we just wanted to explain our part. Like, um, and just wanted to know your opinions about this, if you have an opinion. 
Yeah. I'm sure she, she's so strong on both sides. Yeah. It's, but, like, it's, uh, like, it's just like science is so much easier to work, uh, to learn in, in um, like Chinese words. Because it's like so easy. Versus to English, right? Yeah. Oh my God. And fa uh, chemistry, you know, it's just like yi yang pa tan, uh, carbon hydrate, like yi yang two O's. So that's O2. And then carbon uh, tan is C O. Mm -hmm. so it's like, the, it's like flip. Because I mean, uh, Usually Carbon Chinese and English, like it's like the sentences sometimes flip, you know, like the, <laughs> the sentence structure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I like the chemistry is like flip. Yi yang fa tan. So fa is it morphed. So oh. fa. So that's always the word in the middle <laughs> of uh, the the chemicals and the the elements. So yi yang fa tan C O two. I don't even know the English sometimes. E uh and then, but but also you can know the elements of the word of the chemicals. You know, like if it's a gas, if it's metal, if metal they have a kamsi bean. Based on what's there, yeah. Yeah, if they're gas, <coughs> they're the hay. And then, um, what else? Uh, tan is rock. There's a rock. Um, yeah, yeah. Remember to buy our, our merch if you want to. Um, and yeah. Thank you guys. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Thank you guys. What is I? Talking. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Talking. Right. See you again.